Live at Wright Hat Air Force Museum. Hi, Frank. Yeah, it is the uh, National Museum of the United States Air Force, Robin Sheila. Good morning to you. Check out the span right there. Look how large these aircraft are. Uh, that's a, a B-47 bomber. It was the first jet engine a bomber uh, that the U.S. Air Force uh, put into uh, put into commission in their fleet. Want to bring in General uh, Hudson now, General Jack Hudson. He's the director of the National Museum of the United States Air Force. General, good morning. Good morning, Frank. Thanks for having us out. We appreciate it. We're glad you're here today. Hey, tell me a little bit about Apollo 15 behind us, because this actually uh, was in space. Right. This is the Apollo 15 capsule. It did fly in space. You're correct about that. We have it here because it was an all-Air Force crew at that time in 1971. And, of course, it came back successfully. And uh, one thing you might be interested in knowing is that the commander of this mission, Colonel David Scott, will be here at the museum in a few months and deliver a guest lecture here. So people who were interested in the space program, the Apollo program, uh, things like that, they can come and listen to him here. It'll be in the evening uh, lecture it, series. It's fantastic because you're continuing on education, which is fantastic. And eventually this will be moved into a new hangar. You're trying to get the presidential planes off the Air Force Base itself and put a hangar to add to your three hangars already here at the museum. That's exactly right. In a few years we'll have this building constructed. It will have the space gallery, including the Apollo 15 capsule. Uh, some NASA artifacts, and many other things that we have in storage that we don't have room for today. It will also have the presidential airplanes from the main part of the base, and so they'll be uh, easily available to the public. Great. And then we'll have a third part, which will be the Global Reach Gallery, our big airplanes, a C-5, a C-141, and some other airplanes. So the nice thing about this is that with our free admission and free parking, the 1.2 million people that come here uh, already each year and the 3.5 million that visit online, they're going to even have more things to come and look at. So we're really looking forward to the new expansion. And, and there's so much already over a million square feet uh, of activity here. Free, of course, free parking right off uh, I-75 north as you head into Dayton. We're going to talk more about how some of the funding for all of this uh, takes place and give you uh, yeah, a whirlwind tour as we continue here on the Fox 19 Morning News. Come on back.